Hi everyone, Roy True over here with Golden West Management. I'm sitting here with Seth Aruda from Alta Vista Insurance today. Uh, we do management obviously in San Diego, Phoenix, and Las Vegas. And Seth on the insurance side also works in those three markets. So we wanted to have him come in so we could have a little bit of an educational piece to tell you a little bit more about the benefits of working with both the property manager and a great insurance person. Thanks for having me, Roy. Of course. Yeah. So Seth, why don't you tell us a little bit about Alta Vista Insurance? Yeah, sure. Happy to tell you a little bit about uh, our agency um, and the way we look at insurance. But before I do that, let me just tell you a little bit about my story. Sure. Um, I came out to California from Florida. So I'm from the East Coast. Um, we have a lot of catastrophic hurricanes, you know, over there in Florida and, and on the East Coast. And, you know, over the years, I've been through some pretty bad storms living there for 30 years. Sure. I've seen people lose all of their stuff, their their assets, and, and really seeing what people go through when they have, uh, you know, a catastrophic um, issue that happens to them um, is one of the reasons why I got into the business of insurance. Um, so I just got sick and tired of seeing my friends and my colleagues and just people in my community lose everything due to things like natural disasters like hurricanes or fires and even right. sometimes like lawsuits and judgments sure. so that's why i got into the business of insurance fast forward uh to today my agency now has a suite of products that helps our clients protect their lifestyle their health and their well-being well, that's health and their wealth yeah your wealth is your health that's right <laughs> so a little bit about the agency though is um you know we are a property specialist um we really really focus on helping our clients protect their lifestyles so they can reach new heights mm -hmm. and our specialty is um working with uh, clients with their residential and commercial habitational property needs uh, so that could be anybody from a uh, property owner to a property manager uh, and also a real estate professional. Right, right. And, and you know, we, we focus on single family homes and we have our boutique apartments that we manage. Yeah. So there's a lot of differences between those two, uh, but just wanted to talk about how we work together. Why, yeah. why it's important to have a strategic professional in every aspect of your business. When you're talking about your portfolio of properties, you wanna have somebody looking after your bottom line uh, from the property manager all the way through the accounting and of course, insurance. Yeah, it's a hundred percent. It's all about uh, managing risk. And when you have a, a real estate professional that's either a property owner or an investor, um, there's a specific ecosystem that uh, you wanna surround yourself with as that professional. You wanna have subject matter experts in the field of property management, right. in the fields of insurance, in the fields of bookkeeping, uh, to really surround yourself with professionals that can guide you through all of the facets of those types of transactions. Uh, because the more time that you're spending in the areas of property management or insurance or bookkeeping, right. the less time you're spending on your craft. You right. may be a, a doctor or um, you know, may, maybe an engineer that this isn't really your uh, primary source of income. This may be a, a strategy that you see as your primary investment strategy but this is your way to build wealth and achieve financial freedom to create passive income for you and your family. So the more you have uh, an ecosystem of strategic partners that you work with, right. the more time you're gonna save, the more money you're gonna be able to make, and the more opportunities you're gonna be able to get in your business and also in your investments. Of course, I mean, especially if you have your own day job. If you're, if you're an engineer by day, you can't be a property manager by night. So having somebody like us that can come in and not only fill that need for managing the tenants, but we do everything from leasing to accounting. So we do the back end bookkeeping. We're looking after your bottom bottom line. Every dollar we're, we're measuring where it comes from, where it's going. And then on your side, if there is a claim, like you said earlier, anything from fire, flood, blood to a lawsuit. Uh, and I, I think we should take the time to kind of expand into those lawsuits if you have a second. Yeah. That, that's something that we see. I mean, you, you never know. I mean, there's HUD guidelines that you can come across and, 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 and different situations that can just happen out of nowhere. So having the right insurance coverage is super important to protect your investment. Yeah, it's, a, it's such a, um, it's very overlooked um, by a lot of customers and clients that I work with. Uh, one of the things that we focus on is being a personal risk manager for our clients and giving them not only the knowledge and education that they need in order to make educated decisions about how to properly protect their not only lifestyle, but their investment portfolio of properties. We also wanna give them the ability to have those other subject matter experts in those fields where we can refer them to the best property manager in San Diego or Phoenix or in Vegas, right. but also be like, 
there's other added benefits that we can provide you with. And having that type of a network creates much a, a much better customer experience. Sure. And it also gives people a uh, peace of mind, knowing that they've got real professionals that are on their team. And these are partnerships. Right. When we talk about the things, uh, you know, about keeping people out of uh, lawsuits, protecting their assets and keeping their assets in their pockets is our number one concern. Mm -hmm. And having that type of a relationship with your property manager or your insurance agent or you know, your bookkeeper is knowing they have a vested relationship in seeing you grow and prosper. And that's kind of why our motto is helping you reach new heights. We right. want to help our investors, our real estate professionals, and our property managers reach new heights so they can achieve financial freedom and build wealth. And that's a good transition into our motto, which is rent it like you mean it. So being prepared every step of the way from, you know you're gonna be covered. So if you have one of these crazy issues that we run into daily, we've seen it before. If you've, if you've never dealt with the loss at a property, if you've never dealt with the flood claim, if you've never dealt with fire, the building next to you is catching on fire and affecting yours. There's so many different things that you can go in just the day-to-day -day management that if you're not prepared for, you could be caught blindsided. And, and if you're not insured, you could be out of luck. <laughs> yeah, um, not having the proper coverage, especially when you have a large portfolio of investment properties, and that could be a large investment portfolio of single family residences or habitational commercial properties. You want to have systems and individuals and subject matter experts that can really take the time to guide you along your journey. And that that's really what we focus on in property management. You're helping your investors and your property owners manage those properties. And we as insurance agents help our property owners and our investors right. manage their risk. And right. it's all about risk tolerance and risk threshold. And everybody's portfolio is unique. Sure. And everybody has different needs. And Really, it's about trying to identify the problems that our property owners or our investors have and uncovering those challenges that they face in their business right. and just providing them with the solutions to their business that can help them grow and, right. and prosper, really. And, I, and we were kind of talking earlier offline that, you know, the difference between a single family home to a fourplex up to a 12 unit up to a 100 unit building, there's different types of coverages along the way. Um, and some of those people with the, the bigger portfolios may want to self-insure up to a certain amount. Um, can you expand maybe a little bit on yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. When we're talking about risk tolerance, especially when you have um, like a large portfolio of properties, your, your risk tolerance is a little bit higher mm -hmm. in those situations because it's a lot, of, um, a lot of what you're doing is trying to manage your expenses. Right. And one of the expenses you have or the cost of ownership is, is your insurance costs, you know, and if you're constantly um, utilizing your insurance frequently to file small little claims, those type of things can really impact your ability to find insurance through the life cycle of your policies. It can also um, uh, it can also create uh, an environment where your uh, insurance costs fluctuate greatly. So it's really not a good way to um, you know manage your expenses as far as what is my total out of pocket expense monthly. And if you're really trying to control those costs, one of the things that we do with property owners is help them manage their risk and also find out what their risk tolerance is. Right. So if anybody's looking to just get more information on that, we can set up a consultation offline. We can set up a time to talk about your individual portfolio and your individual needs and talk to you about risk tolerance and risk threshold to put together a custom strat strategy to help you reduce your expenses, keep your assets in your pockets, and also help you protect your lifestyle. It's amazing. Yeah. I, I... We always say if you're going to manage your property yourself, it's like going to the pool with no lifeguard. It's swim at your own risk. So, yeah. uh, I mean, you, you never know what situation you're going to run into any given day out there, any given Sunday. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, so one of the things uh, that we, we all want, that I've noticed is that, you know, whenever you talk about somebody that's in a, a that wants to make that jump from a single family home where they've just got your basic homeowner's insurance policy to a fourplex, what's some things that when they're doing their their, when they have their mortgage set up, their lender is going to look at. Mm -hmm. what, do, what do they require? I think we were talking a little bit about what different things they want to be covered for or what they're required to have coverage right. for. 
So the first thing that we talk to our clients about before we can start talking about building wealth in this case right. and then achieving financial freedom and creating passive income is talking about financial protection. Right. And, and first thing is we have to educate you on how to protect what you already have. Right. Because if you don't, and that's the first step in financial protection understand how to protect what you already have, and then we can start moving to building wealth and achieving financial freedom. And one of those things is just comes from education and providing our customers and our clients with the proper knowledge and expertise in the field of investing and property and property owning, right. and the best practices that our top property management companies use, our top investors use when they're managing their portfolios, and what are the best practices when you're trying to set up that road or that path for you to start entering into the path of investing and uh, viewing real estate as your primary investment right. strategy. Right. So one of the things with lenders is, um, you know, they have specific requirements sometimes depending on the type of building you have or if you have a single family rental property or a large scale apartment building. Um, and one of the things that comes up a lot, which is pretty frequent, is if you have a loan on a property and it's a commercial property, mm -hmm. A lot of lenders require earthquake and flood insurance. Both, right? Both. Yeah. And um, one of the things that a lot of property owners don't know or are not aware of is that your property insurance covers you for fire, theft, vandalism, and sudden and accidental occurrences like water damage or pipes bursting inside the, the structure. The things that are not covered under a standard commercial property insurance policy are earthquake insurance and flood insurance. And when I talk about flood, I'm really just talking about rising water right. from like storm surge or tsunami from the ocean. Right. You know, if a pipe bursts inside the, you know, the water the wall, heater yeah. and it floods the inside lower unit, mm -hmm. that's going to be covered under your standard commercial property right. insurance, no problem. But the lenders a lot of times want to see earthquake insurance and flood insurance, especially when you are in a high risk flood zone. Right, the flood zone, yeah. And I know you touched on flood yeah. zones a little yeah, bit, yeah. so um, you educated yourself on some I, of the new Yeah, I mean, we've got a, a <laughs> luckily in San Diego, Vegas and Phoenix where we're at, we don't have as much risk, but you, you know, there's always a risk in flood zones. I mean, there are. and those you really need to look into before you're making your investment. And I think, you know, even more importantly, you need to have your, your team lined up. So your property manager, your insurance specialist, uh, your CPA, everything to make that investment work for you. Because mm -hmm. uh, if you if you leave one piece out and you're trying to scramble and it's a worst case scenario, what are you gonna do? You got, you're, you're trying to play catch up. Yeah, in those situations, it's a lot. A lot of it is involves, um, you know, what are the costs of ownership? Right. And if you are buying a property in an area that is in a high risk flood zone or is in an area that's really um, at risk to earthquakes or seismic activity, your insurance costs are going to be a lot larger than in, right. a, in an area where those exposures are are not around. Right. So. You know, working with your property manager and your insurance agent as your personal risk manager is a great strategy when you are in the business of also adding new investments to your portfolio and also thinking about purchasing new properties in areas where you may not be familiar with. You know, right. some people have properties in an area like San Diego and then they're interested in tapping into a new market, right. like let's say Phoenix, for example. Which is all the more buzz right now. People, people exactly. moving from California properties into to the Phoenix, moving their portfolios around mm -hmm. for different reasons across the board. Right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that, that leads to another good point. I mean, we work with our clients to advise them when is the proper time to make a claim. So like you were talking about burst pipe inside the wall, mm -hmm. if you're if you're at a hundred unit complex, mm -hmm. are you gonna make a claim for something that's a $2,000 and $3,000 fix, or is it something that you're gonna self-insure up to a, a certain amount? So uh, when to get, when, Use your property manager to ask and, and figure out when should I make this claim. Right. And we can advise you on what, what the cost is gonna be, your deductibles, where you have those set up. There's a lot of factors that go into that and that's why we work with people like Seth so that we can really give you the best advice out there possible. Yeah, it all goes back to uh, what I mentioned before is uh, frequency and severity. Um, you know, you wanna utilize your insurance for those severe, um, those severe losses 
and you really don't want to be filing frequent small claims because it can affect the cost of insurance and the availability of insurance in the future. And that is one way to control your costs and expenses on your, on your properties and manage your cost of ownership, but also um, have a risk manager that you can lean on to guide you through those conversations. So if it is something like you said, it's a, you know, a pipe that bursts and it may be a $5,000 loss, it's a good conversation to have with your risk manager and your property manager together to find out, does this make sense for me to file this claim? Right. Because my risk tolerance may be very low and I may need to file that claim because I don't have a high threshold for you know losses and right. exposures where I can self-insure. Right. And that is why we have a lot of those individual conversations with each property owner and their property manager to make sure that they fully understand the best way to insure their portfolio of investments. And, and having good in, insurance benefits is crucial. I mean, from the landlord down to us with our renters where we require renters insurance. And I know that's not really your specialty, but you know, us, us making sure that everything's covered. So we all know that a flood can turn in from just a leak in the wall to if it's not checked on, if you don't have a good manager going to inspections, talking the M word, we're talking mold. Yes. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> so that, that's, a, that's, that's a huge risk. So, I mean, getting out there, getting the environmental specialist, having your property manager that knows which steps, which steps to take to make sure that that claim's being held, handled from start to finish properly. Mm -hmm. One of those things that happens a lot of times when we have those type of issues with, um, with mold or you know, with water or any type of claims really is ha having your property manager involved in those things is a real benefit to your client because in situations where you have um, losses like that, sometimes doing things like repiping uh, is much better than just fixing the problem and continuing your insurance and just continuing along the way because sometimes those problems can get worse as time goes on if you're just repairing the area. And having a good risk manager and also having a good property manager is a good way to collaborate with those subject matter experts to make sure that is this a situation where I should maybe do a little further discovery and investigate maybe doing a repair or an update to right. the building? Or does this make sense to just basically self-insure, repair the loss, and then continue to move through uh, the cycle of the year? And then the property manager will advise you what to do best rather than just using duct tape and band-aids to get it fixed right the first time so that you don't have to pay double for one repair. Right. Because if you don't do it right the first time, you're gonna have to do it again. Yeah, so, yeah, that is so, I mean, every, every way down from the maintenance repair up to an insurance claim. But mm -hmm. uh, Seth, I wanna thank you so much for coming yeah. in today. Uh, it was awesome to have you come in and talk to us a little bit more about the insurance side. Hopefully we can do this again. Absolutely, more All than right. happy to come in and, and talk to you a little bit more in detail about specific needs yep. that we see. I can even bring in some case studies of some of our you know, losses that we've seen come through and you know, how we were able to kind of mitigate those uh, individual situations or problems that I've seen property owners have and right. challenges with their portfolios. So yeah, happy to continue these type of conversations with you in the future and just add more value to your, your clients and just provide them with a little bit more education when it comes to protecting their lifestyles. Yes, and you can also see us on Seth's podcast. Yep. We're, we're gonna jump on that, so a little yeah. bit of cross promotion. Yeah, there, we're but... gonna do a little podcast after this, just uh, you know, talk a little bit about Golden West and talk a little bit about insurance and you know maybe a little bit about the Padres. There we go. Yeah. So. And, and as, as you mentioned, if you want a consultation, feel free to reach out to us on the property management side, goldenwestmanagement.com. Seth Ruda with Alta Vista. Yeah, I'll leave all my contact information with Roy. And if any of your clients want to get a hold of me, uh, I can set up a consultation with them. We can book an appointment and talk about their uh, portfolio of properties. Perfect. Thank you so much, Thanks Seth. Thanks a lot, Roy. Thank you. Rent it like you mean it.